In this video, we'll discuss some rules for solving inequalities. Now, if I have to break it down to you and give you the most important thing, it'll be this. Everything else remains the same as in equations. Just flip the sign when multiplying or dividing by a negative number. So whatever you've been doing for equations, it remains the same for inequalities. All we need to do is be careful about multiplying and dividing by a negative number. Whenever there's a negative number, we flip the sign. Now, if you got this, amazing. If you didn't, let's follow through the rest of the video. So the first thing to note is that the inequalities were always inbuilt in the number line. No two numbers on the number line are equal. One of them will definitely be greater than or less than the other. And there is a clear direction to it. The numbers on the right will always be greater than the numbers on the left. We have larger numbers on the right and smaller numbers on the left. It doesn't matter whether they're positive or negative. They're larger on the right and smaller on the left. So if you have to color code them, the left one, that's the red one, is smaller than the right one, which is the green one. Here are a few examples. Zero is less than four. Zero is on the left and four is on the right. That's how we write it, zero is less than four. Let's take another one. Minus two is less than two. And one more, minus four is less than zero. In all of these examples, the number on the left is always less than the number on the right. And if we got this visually, we'll be able to understand the rules of playing with inequalities. Let's do that. Let's look at the first one. What happens when we add and subtract? So let's take an inequality. Let's say we have minus four and zero. This one's on the left, this one's on the right. So minus four is less than zero. Now suppose we add a fixed number to both the sides. Can we do that? And what happens if we do it? Suppose we add two to both the sides. So minus four will shift to minus two and zero will shift to two. This is how it will look like. When we add two, we get this thing. Minus four comes to minus two and zero comes to two. So this is what we have. The new numbers are minus two and two. And comparing these two suggests that the sign of the inequality remains the same. What was smaller is still smaller. What was larger is still larger. So nothing really changed here. Red dot remains on the left and green dot remains on the right, which means the inequality sign remains intact. All we did was we shifted. We shifted this thing to the right and you can shift as much as you want. What's smaller will always be smaller and what's larger will always be larger. Now, although this is addition, we can say the same thing for subtraction as well, because subtraction will mean shifting on the left. So if we subtract things, we'll move this to the left and again, whether you move it to the left or you move it to the right, all you're doing is shifting and shifting does not change the sign. So what we can take from this is whenever we have an inequality, we can always add or subtract the same number from both the sides without changing the sign of the inequality. But what happens for multiplication and division? Let's look at positive numbers first. What happens when we multiply divide by a positive number? Here's an example. We have minus one and two. In this case, minus one is less than two. What happens if we multiply this by a positive number? Let's say we multiply it by two. So minus one times two becomes minus two and two times two becomes four. So minus one goes to minus two and two goes to four. So this thing stretches, this thing scales. The red dot comes here and the green dot comes here. And you can see visually that the inequality has not changed. What's less is still less what's more is still more. So red dot remains on the left and green dot remains on the right, which means the inequality sign remains intact. And the same will work for division as well. When we multiply, we zoom in and when we divide, we will zoom out, but the red will remain on the left and the green will remain on the right, but the inequality sign will not change. So what we can take from this is when we multiply or divide by a positive number, things remain the same. The inequality sign does not change. Now let's talk about negative numbers. What happens when we multiply divide by a negative number? Let's take an example. We have minus one and two. Minus one is less than two. What happens when we multiply this by a negative number? Let's say we multiply this by minus three. Okay, so what happens? Minus one times minus three. That's minus minus plus one times three is three. So that's three. Minus one jumps to three. What happens to two? Two times minus three is minus six. Well two jumps to minus six. So this is three and this is minus six. Look at this. The number that was initially smaller 
now becomes the bigger number and the number that was bigger now becomes the smaller number. So this transformation changes the comparison. Now the sides have flipped. Now we're comparing three and minus six and three is greater than minus six. So when we multiplied by minus three, the sign actually changed. What was less now became more. In this case, red and green dot switched sides. And this is why the inequality sign flips. Let's take one more example. Let's take an example of two positive numbers, one and three. One is less than three. Now, when we multiply this by a negative number, let's say we multiply by minus one. This is what we get. We get minus one and minus three. And in this case, one, which was smaller, now becomes minus one, which is bigger. So the sign will flip. Another example, one is less than four. When you multiply both sides by minus one, you get minus one and minus four. One which was smaller now becomes minus one, which is bigger. And the way I like to see this is we have a mirror that passes through zero. And if you're looking in the mirror, the closer you are to the mirror, the closer your image will be. And the farther you are from the mirror, the farther your image will be. So when we multiply by a negative number, we're basically taking the mirror image. So if you have numbers on this side, you'll have mirror image on the other side. One moves to minus one, three moves to minus three. One was closer, one stays closer. Three was farther, minus three stays farther. Same is here. One and minus one are closer to the mirror and four and minus four are farther away from the mirror. And this is why the signs flip. When you multiply by minus one, one was less than three, but multiplying by minus one gives us minus one greater than minus three. One is less than four, but minus one is greater than minus four. So whenever red and green dots switch sides, the inequality sign flips. Now we have gone through the rules of inequalities. Let's practice. Here's an inequality. One is less than two. Let's add, subtract, multiply and divide. If we add a positive number, nothing changes. Six is still less than seven. If we subtract, nothing changes. Six minus 10 is minus four. Seven minus 10 is minus three. Minus four is still less than minus three. The sign remains same. What if we multiply? If we multiply by a positive number, the sign remains the same. Here we have minus 20 and here we have minus 15. And you can see that minus 20 is less than minus 15. But what if we multiply by a negative number? What if we multiply by minus three? In this case, now as soon as we multiply by a negative number, we'll have to change the sign. The sign will flip. So minus 20 times minus three, that's 60. And here we have 15 times three, 45. 60 is greater than 45. And we can see that this makes sense. While minus 20 is less than minus 15, 60 is greater than 45. And this works for division as well. If we divide by some number, some negative number, we'll have to switch the sign again. If this was greater, it now becomes less than. So 60 by minus 15, that's minus four. And here we have minus three. Minus four is less than minus three. Now bringing it back to where we started, adding five gives us one is less than two. All right, so this works neatly for numbers. This works neatly for numerical identities. This also works neatly for your literal identities. Let's look at it. If we have X is less than two, we can always add or subtract a fixed number. Adding five to both sides gives us X plus five is less than seven. We can also multiply. Multiplying by two, which is a positive number, does nothing to the sign. Two times X plus five is less than 14. We've added, multiplied, now let's subtract. 2 times x plus 5 minus 3 gives us 11. This inequality still stays the same. The sign is still less than. But look what happens when we divide by a negative number. If we divide this by minus 93, which is a negative number, the sign will flip. This was less, now it becomes greater. We have 11 by minus 93. So whenever you're multiplying or dividing by a negative number, you flip the sign. Otherwise, for every other scenario, we don't need to worry.